North Korea. It is a land shrouded in secrecy, isolated from the world. This enigmatic nation has long captured our imaginations. Its story, however, remains largely untold, a tale of war, ideology, and resilience. In this documentary, we will embark on a journey. We will delve into the untold history of North Korea. From its tumultuous beginnings to its uncertain future, we will explore the forces that have shaped this reclusive state. Our journey will take us through the decades. We will witness the rise and reign of the Kim dynasty. We will explore the devastating consequences of war and famine, and we will examine the country's controversial nuclear ambitions. Join us as we attempt to unravel the enigma of North Korea. The story of North Korea begins in the ashes of World War II. The devastation left behind by the war created a power vacuum and a landscape ripe for change. The Korean peninsula, once a unified entity, was now at a crossroads, its future uncertain and its people yearning for stability and direction. Korea, occupied by Japan since 1910, found itself divided. The harsh rule of the Japanese had left deep scars on the Korean people, who had endured decades of oppression and cultural suppression. With Japan's defeat, the Korean peninsula was liberated. But this newfound freedom came with its own set of challenges. The Soviet Union occupied the North, the United States, the South. This division was not just a geographical one, but also ideological, setting the stage for a conflict that would shape the region for decades. The 38th parallel became the line that separated two vastly different visions for Korea's future. This division, a product of Cold War tensions, would have profound consequences. The ideological battle between communism and capitalism played out on Korean soil, with both superpowers vying for influence. The Korean people, caught in the middle, faced an uncertain future as their homeland became a pawn in a larger geopolitical struggle. In the north, a young revolutionary named Kim Il-sung rose to prominence. His charisma and vision for a communist career resonated with many who had suffered under Japanese rule. Kim Il-sung's journey from a guerrilla fighter to a national leader was marked by his unwavering commitment to his cause. A communist guerrilla leader, Kim Il-sung had fought against the Japanese. His experiences in the resistance movement shaped his leadership style and his vision for Korea. He was seen as a hero by many, a symbol of resistance and hope for a new independent Korea. Backed by the Soviet Union, he quickly consolidated power. The support from the Soviets was crucial in establishing his regime, providing both military and economic assistance. This alliance would define North Korea's early years and its development as a state. In 1948, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, or DPRK, was proclaimed. This marked the official birth of North Korea as a separate entity from the South. The proclamation was a moment of celebration for many, but it also signaled the beginning of a new era of division and conflict on the peninsula. Kim Il-sung became its eternal president, shaping the nation in his image. His leadership was characterized by a strong personality cult, with his image and ideology permeating every aspect of North Korean life. He was not just a political leader, but a symbol of the nation's identity and aspirations. This marked the beginning of North Korea as we know it, a one-party state. The government, under Kim Il-sung's leadership, sought to create a self-reliant socialist state. This vision would drive North Korea's policies and its interactions with the rest of the world for decades to come. It was heavily influenced by Soviet ideology. The principles of Marxism-Leninism were adapted to fit the Korean context, creating a unique blend of socialism that would define North Korea's political and economic systems. The Soviet influence was evident in the country's architecture, education and governance, and at its helm, a charismatic leader who would cast a long shadow over the nation's future. Kim Il-sung's legacy would continue to shape North Korea long after his death, with his family maintaining a tight grip on power. His vision and policies set the foundation for the North Korean state, a legacy that endures to this day. Just two years after its founding, North Korea invaded the South. This act ignited the Korean War, a brutal conflict that would last for three devastating years. The war drew in global powers. The United States supported the South. China, under Mao Zedong, came to the aid of the North. The Korean War was a tragedy for all involved. 
Millions perished in the fighting. The peninsula was left devastated. Although the war ended in a stalemate in 1953, no peace treaty was ever signed. The war had a profound impact on North Korea. It solidified Kim Il-sung's grip on power. It fostered a deep-seated animosity towards the United States and its allies, and it instilled a siege mentality that continues to permeate North Korean society to this day. Section 4. The Kim Dynasty, a legacy of isolation and control. This family has ruled North Korea for over seven decades, shaping the nation's destiny with an iron fist. In the aftermath of the Korean War, Kim Il-sung set about rebuilding North Korea from the ashes. The war had left the country in ruins, and the task ahead was monumental. He established a rigid totalitarian system, centralizing power and eliminating any opposition. This system was designed to ensure absolute control over every aspect of life in North Korea. This system demanded absolute loyalty to the state and to him personally. Citizens were indoctrinated from a young age to revere Kim Il-sung as the great leader. He implemented a policy of self-reliance known as Yuche. This ideology became the cornerstone of North Korean society, emphasizing independence and self-sufficiency. This emphasized national self-sufficiency and isolation from the outside world. North Korea became one of the most isolated countries on the planet, with little to no contact with the outside world. Under Kim Il-sung's rule, North Korea transformed. The capital city, Pyongyang, saw significant development with new buildings and infrastructure projects. It went from a war-torn nation into an industrialized society. Factories were built and the economy showed signs of growth, albeit under strict state control. However, this progress came at a cost. The regime's focus on control and isolation led to widespread human rights abuses. Political dissent was ruthlessly suppressed. Basic freedoms were non-existent. Those who opposed the regime faced imprisonment, torture, or even execution. And a pervasive cult of personality developed around Kim Il-sung and his family. Statues and portraits of the great leader were erected across the country. Upon Kim Il-sung's death in 1994, his son Kim Jong-il inherited the leadership mantle. The transition of power was seamless as the cult of personality extended to the new leader. Kim Jong-il continued his father's policies. He maintained the same level of control and further entrenched the regime's power. He further tightened the regime's grip on power. The military was prioritized and resources were diverted to ensure its strength. He prioritized military spending, even as the country faced severe economic hardship. The people of North Korea suffered, but the regime's focus remained on maintaining its power and control. Today, Kim Jong-un continues the legacy of his father and grandfather. The regime remains as isolated and controlling as ever, with the people of North Korea still living under the shadow of the Kim dynasty. Section 5. The Arduous March, Famine and Hardship The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 had a devastating impact on North Korea. Deprived of crucial economic aid, the country plunged into a severe famine. This period, known as the Arduous March, was marked by widespread starvation and suffering. The North Korean government's response to the famine was inadequate. It downplayed the crisis. It restricted international aid. Meanwhile, millions of North Koreans struggled to survive. This period left an indelible scar on the nation's psyche. It exposed the failings of the government's rigid policies. Despite the hardships, the Kim regime maintained its grip on power. It used propaganda and repression to silence dissent. It channeled resources towards its military and nuclear ambitions, even as its people starved. Section 6. The Nuclear Threat, a Dangerous Game on the World Stage. In the early 2000s, North Korea embarked on a program to develop nuclear weapons. This marked a significant shift in the geopolitical landscape as the isolated nation sought to assert its power on the global stage. This move heightened tensions with the international community. Countries around the world watched with growing concern as North Korea conducted a series of nuclear tests, each more powerful than the last. It led to a series of sanctions and diplomatic standoffs. 
The United Nations imposed strict economic sanctions aimed at crippling North Korea's ability to fund its nuclear program, but the regime remained defiant. North Korea's nuclear ambitions have become one of the most pressing security challenges of the 21st century. The potential for a nuclear-armed North Korea has forced global leaders to reconsider their strategies and alliances. The North Korean government claims its nuclear program is a deterrent. They argue that possessing nuclear weapons is essential for their national security and sovereignty. It says it needs nuclear weapons to protect itself from foreign aggression. The regime points to the presence of US military forces in South Korea and Japan as justification for its nuclear pursuits. However, its actions have been met with widespread condemnation. Nations across the globe have denounced North Korea's nuclear tests and missile launches, calling them reckless and destabilizing. Many fear that North Korea's nuclear ambitions could lead to a regional arms race or even accidental conflict. The possibility of miscalculation or miscommunication in such a volatile region is a constant concern. The international community has attempted to engage with North Korea. Various diplomatic efforts have been made to bring North Korea to the negotiating table. The goal is to persuade it to abandon its nuclear program. These negotiations have often been fraught with challenges as trust between North Korea and other nations remains low. These efforts have been met with limited success. Despite numerous rounds of talks, North Korea has continued to advance its nuclear capabilities, often using negotiations as a means to gain concessions without making significant compromises. North Korea has shown a willingness to engage in talks. However, the path to denuclearization remains uncertain, with many experts questioning whether the regime will ever fully relinquish its nuclear arsenal. The impact of sanctions on the North Korean population has been severe. While the regime continues to prioritize its military ambitions, ordinary citizens face food shortages and economic hardship. Humanitarian organizations have called for a balance between pressure and aid. They argue that while sanctions are necessary, the international community must also address the humanitarian crisis in North Korea. The hope for a peaceful resolution remains. Many around the world continue to advocate for dialogue and diplomacy, believing that a negotiated settlement is the best path forward. The stakes are high and the outcome is uncertain. The world watches closely, hoping that this dangerous game on the world stage will ultimately lead to lasting peace and security.